Hello and welcome to Radio 1 Movies, I'm Ali Plum and yes, you may have noticed that I've solved the hat hair problem from last week by cutting it all off. More details on this very important news story as we get it. Out this week we have three films, including Michael Bay's Ben Ghazi siege thriller 13 Hours, starring Jim from the American office, John Krasinski. Gross out spring break comedy Dirty Grandpa, starring Zac Efron and some guy called Robert De Niro. Finally, Oscar-worthy real-life drama Spotlight, starring pretty much everybody, including Michael Keaton, Mark Ruffalo, Rachel McAdams, and many, many more. Let's kick things off with 13 Hours. Libyan visa. Official. Pull over for inspection. Sorry, sir, I can't do that. Pull over for inspection! How willing are you to die for your country? I'm going to go right here, right now. This is the latest from Explosions enthusiast Michael Bay, the man that brought you The Rock, the Transformers series, and produced Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I asked the film star, John Krasinski, what his favourite Michael Bay film was, and he couldn't say The Rock. I can't say The Rock? No. Wow. Uh, it's funny, uh, Bad Boys, I think, was uh, my favourite. Um, if I can't say The Rock. But um, Bad Boys for me was sort of a big definitive moment in my uh, growing up where the action comedy took on a whole new role for me because those guys are so funny and there's a lot of great slow-mo shots of them in action. So. <laughs> None of you have to go. But we are the only help they have. For me, this is one of Michael Bay's better films, and that's because it's more grounded, based on the true story of six ex-military contractors tasked with the impossible, defending a secret CIA base in Benghazi, Libya. It's gritty, it's rough, and it's very, very, very action-packed. I enjoyed it as far as it went. The trouble is, is that it's a little bit gung-ho, go get em America, and for some, that's gonna really wind you up. So, in review, I'm gonna give this a cautious three stars. I love John Krasinski in it, but it does have a little bit too much of the Michael Bay boom and bang to really be that good. So, Dirty Grandpa. Well, Robert De Niro is a lechy, weird, kind of freaky, Grandpa and Zac Efron is his grandson as they go do spring break down in Florida. You ready to hit the road? I'm, I'm really sorry, Grandpa. I, 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 uh, I, didn't, I didn't think you'd be doing that. Ah, so you caught me taking a number three. Big deal, right? Number three? Have a drink. Uh, no, I'm driving, so I'm just going to finish up my exercises and then we'll hop on 16 to 95. Grandpa, are you sure you're OK? Uh, Thanks for doing this, by the way. It is debauched. It is filthy. It is utterly ridiculous. And yes, critics have drummed this one into the ground, but frankly, this movie knows what it is, and it is gross. If you like the likes of American Pie, but times it by 10,000, this is the film for you. Yes, it is not going to win any Oscars, but frankly, it does the job, and you will, I promise you, laugh. Three stars all the way for Dirty Grandpa. With an incredible cast, a great script, and a very important story to tell, Spotlight is one of the best dramas you'll see this year. It tells the story of a group of journalists who worked for the Boston Globe in the early noughties as they discovered a sex abuse scandal involving the Catholic Church and minors that took place over a series of decades. Why are we hesitating? Barron told us to get law. This is law. Barron told us to get the system. We need the full scope. That's the only thing that will put an end to this. Then let's take it up to Ben. Let him decide. We'll take it to Ben when I say it's time. It's time, Robbie. It's time. They knew, and they let it happen to kids. OK? It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. It's a genuinely brilliant movie that tells a very tough story very well. And honestly, it's thrilling and exciting and a very important movie. I would say it's going to be one of the best movies you'll see this year. I'm giving it five stars, and I'm not the only one. So without a shadow of a doubt, Spotlight is my movie of the week. Thanks for watching. Out next week, we've got Trumbo, Goosebumps, and Dad's Army. Quite the triple bill. See you then.